in some ways, this game is worse than Indigo. In most ways, it's better, but in some ways, it's worse. Am I excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You have no idea. You have no idea. Welcome to the playthrough, everybody. Welcome to the playthrough. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's just dawned on me right now that we actually have to play this game. Oh, again. Oh, for fuck's sake, chat. I don't like this game. I... Oh, God. What is this face? What? <laughs> what is this face? Looking good, Ethan. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Who thought this was good? Yeah, let's fucking have a dry yourself with a towel mini game. God fucking damn it. This is a real Ethan, family interaction. Can you please help me? Nope. I'm coming. What is this door? <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for helping me out, Ethan. <laughs> Managed to get any work done? <laughs> what is this teeny tiny TV in this in this amazingly large house? I guess that means no. <laughs> He's just watching fucking anime. What? Okay. Seems you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> and that's the end of my story. I couldn't beat my kid in a sword fight, and my wife left me out of embarrassment. So we never went to the mall. I'll never wonder what would have happened if we stayed together and went to the mall that day. What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. Oh, shit! He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I bash him in, in the head I against the wall. I anything if you could come back to life. The bird was fine a second ago. Maybe this is fault. Uh-oh. It's you that I'm chasing. Press X to Jason. Can you watch Jason for a minute? No. I promise, we won't be long. Sure, no problem. My wife's still got a nice ass. Damn, I'm a lucky guy. Huh. Oh shit! Oh no! Jason! Oh no! Jason! Jason! Press A to Jason! 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 Looks good. Jason. 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 <laughs> Did we break it? Jason. 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 Perfect. Jason. Jason. <laughs> All right, I found him. All right, see you later, kid. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> Jason! Okay, L let us see how shit of a father Ethan is, having already lost his son once, finds him and is like, okay, sure, what's gonna happen now? Jason, you really shouldn't run her off like that, you know? Do you know how terrifying it is to lose your kid? A lot of people in Please, Dad, can I have one? <laughs> I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Hey, Jim, what's your name? Jason. Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, Jason. The red one. <laughs> That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. Dad, son. It's really crowded. And then he loses him again. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. 
Jason, 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 Jason. Really come back and get the suit after I find him. Oh, I can't look at it anymore. Now it's urgent. Jason, 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 Jason. Quick, I need to go downstairs. Jason, 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 Where'd the balloon go? There it is. Jason! 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 Where's he going? What is this kid? He's 10! It makes no sense! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Jason! Jason! Dad! Why did- why was that two the same? Notice how the car hit the dad in the back? It, it didn't even hit Jason, and yet Jason is the one who's dead? Uh, okay. The car wasn't even going that fast. Why did he cross the street? Like, it's just so stupid. Nothing about this makes sense. Like, how do you lose the kid twice? Why does the kid is like, well, off to go off my journey downstairs with my red balloon, gonna show it to the world, gonna leave the mall, gonna cross the street to go look in the paper store window. Oh, there's my dad, time to run across the street. How, what shitty parenting, you didn't teach your kids how to cross the street? Even Finn knows better than this, Finn's five. What the fuck? This kid's 10. It's just such a shit setup. Like, if you wanna kill the kid, then just make it more, you know, plausible. It doesn't make any sense, watch children. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how is this the best they came up with? Like, losing your kid at the mall, like, that, that's a good, uh, like, spike of anxiety. That makes sense, it's relatable. That, that's a that's a good idea. But then, like, to lose him a second time, and then he just like, I'm just gonna go across the street. Like, what the fuck? Is it true that David Cage said about Detroit Become Human that it's like Blade Runner, but if the robots were the good guys? That has to be a made up quote, right? He didn't actually say that, did he? There's, there's no way he actually said that. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. I know he doesn't like you in the last one left at school. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say it. I know he doesn't like being the last kid left. I thought, I thought that's what he was gonna say. And I was like, there's no way. And he said that. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, okay. I really thought that's where it was going. <laughs> Okay, so the first time I played this game, I couldn't figure out what it wanted for me, so I just went out into the backyard and played basketball. <laughs> like, he wouldn't talk to me. Maybe it bugged out. I don't know. Maybe it bugged out on me or whatever. I don't know what it was. So I just I just went outside and played basketball. I didn't feed the kid dinner. We didn't do his homework. Like, there's a list. We didn't do any of it. I just went outside and played basketball. All right, fourth, Sean. Like, do you really need to write the name of the kid? All right, fourth, we're 30. All right, we're, what time is it? Oh no, we're, we're already late. Oh shit, you want this kid, you want a snack? Snack, do you want a snack? Yes, sir. Uh, All right, what do you want? Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. Yeah, let's go. All right, duck soup, here we go. I don't think we have any time for basketball, is what a shit dad would say. We always have time for basketball. Yeah. So you like anime? Well, he took one bite of his. You're getting crumbs all over the couch. 
What are you doing? It's gonna be sticky in that part. G kid! If you're done with it, put it in the garbage. Oh! Alright, have fun with your homework, nerd. I'm gonna go play some basketball. Yeah, time to shoot another hoop. It's raining and I'm choosing this over you. Alright, here we go. Here we go. R, B, L, B. I'm gonna make the major leagues. Oh man, two for two. Fuck, we're doing so well. We're so good at this. Sorry, what's that? I was working on my career. What? What do you want? You wanna go? You wanna go watch TV? It's dinner time. I better make something for Sean. No dinner. Come to think of it, if he's not asking for anything, it must be because he's not hungry. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And just because they say they're hungry doesn't mean they want something either. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, I, I see how your your other kid didn't know how to fucking cross the street. You fucking failure as a dad. What the fuck, man? Holy shit. All right, where do we get the food from? Where is it? All right, are you, hey, are you, are you hungry? Child. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah. I'm really hungry. You idiot. Oh, while you're doing that, I'm going to go shoot some more hoops. All right, have fun. Oh, three for three. God damn it, three for three. He, he got his snack, he got his dinner, he did his homework, and I got to shoot three hoops. Damn, this is going so well. Gonna sleep well tonight. Gonna sleep well tonight. All right, it's almost eight o'clock. It's 7.30. Let me just sit here and watch you for a bit, and then we're gonna go to bed. All right. <laughs> Go in the other chair and see what it's like. <laughs> my teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. That's too bad, Sean. <laughs> Time to sleep. Now. Oh no, Dad. Please, I need my teddy. No, we'll find it in the morning. <laughs> now go to sleep. Mom would never put me to bed without Teddy. Why are you mean like that? It's not my fault that Jason is gone. It's not my fault. All right, now you go find the Teddy and bring it to him to keep him on his toes. All right, let's go. No, we can't. Oh shit, is this it? Oh, this is it! Oh shit! So soon! Alright, here we go! Oh no! He blacked out and now he has origami in his hand! Oh shit! We're the origami killer! What else could that be? What else could that mean? Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. F five, that's it? Five bucks? Really? That's it? You'll sell someone out for a Twitch sub, bruh? Like. Like, really? If I remember correctly, he's the worst FBI agent ever. He gets no respect. No one gives a shit about Jaden. Like, it's just like... It's uphill the whole way. Like, no one gives a fuck about him. <laughs> uh, here we go. Amazing. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, Naman. October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Nam and Jaden from the FBI. Naman. I went by your office this morning, they told me office. to be here. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami. You got that origami. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Pretty chilly, huh? <laughs> 
Now who's the cool one? <laughs> what do you mean car? Don't you mean cat? <laughs> A small origami figure in the right hand. Wait. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. God, are we being possessed again like an indigo prophecy? Because there's no other way that, that Ethan would have an origami figure after blacking out, right? And in that area, too, on that corner. I mean, like, there's no other way. Like, and it's not like they're just never going to explain that, right? There's, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way that they would have the main character black out and have an origami figure in their hand. And there's someone called the origami figure killer going around. And yes, and that unexplained time. And he was in the area where a body has been found. There's no way that they just wouldn't explain that, right? There's no way. All right, let's go. You're not responsible for what happened. I mean, he is. It's my fault Jason is dead. Yeah, it is. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. Exactly. It was an accident. No. <laughs> what are you pushing for the strings for? You push him by his back. What are you doing? You can't any, get any good force on the swing. You, you grab his back and push. What are you doing? <laughs> that was cool. Was it? You should move the monk then, if you're that impressed by that. In 10 years, you can be one of those fucks that just goes around putting fireworks everywhere. You know what we should do this weekend? Watch well, we do the same thing we do every weekend. Let's go light some fireworks. Oh, yeah, I love fireworks, bro. For those for like 10 seconds, it's fucking great. All right. Are you just gonna stand in front? Other people want to use the swing set. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberries. <laughs> the character chose that. The character, like, it's not I even us. On us. Time to make some origami. Shit, I should have let it hit me. How the hell did I get here? Again, you have blackouts, bro. Like, why didn't you what? take Sean it's back to his mom? That's impossible. I just shut my eyes a second ago. Sean! 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 Sean, where are you? Sean! 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 Well, take his backpack. Sean, where are you? Sean! The whole time it was in my hand. God, I can't wait for that to be explained. There's no way it could never be explained. So what is, what's the explanation? It's gonna be so good. When it happens, it's gonna be like, whoa, an explanation. Holy shit. You know what's gonna really make them, uh, you know, uh, respect me? If I play my game right here. Here I go. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. All right, time to put my shades on. All right, time to put my glove on. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't look weird. Hey, Jaden, are you coming or what? I haven't got all day. See my assistant, we'll talk later. <laughs> He's just fucking gone. He's gone. All right, cool. I gotta hang on. I can beat this. Trypto. Is everything all right, sir? I'm FBI. He just leaves before we can answer. He's like, oh wait a sec, I don't no care. One to see. Listen. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. <laughs> Blake just doesn't give a shit. Blake's just like, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? 
Wasn't it enough losing Jason? You got a point, Ethan. I'm sorry. She's got a point. So, like, she's right, but the, but the whole the whole story is like is just fucking corrupt from the ground up because Jason's actions make no fucking sense. So it's like, yeah, Ethan, you fucked up, and it's like you got a big problem here. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And that's why he has the blackout, so it's not really his fault. But, like, it's not really his fault that Jason died either, because it's actually, like, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, it makes no fucking sense. Like, how did you lose him twice? How did he get so far, far when he just turned around? Why'd he go outside? Why'd he cross the street? Why did he not look both ways when you cross the street back? Like, like the only answer is that you, it's shit parents and you didn't teach him. But even then, like, why? Why did he go out like that? It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Shit, are you deaf or what? Boom, 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 boom. Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? Hey, you! Come here! I said, come here now! Don't move! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Are you deaf? I said put your hands up! I'm warning you! I'll shoot! If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead! I'm not joking, man! I'll blow your fucking brains out! Don't move, sir. I'll call for an ambulance. Oh, he's... <laughs> no, I'll be all right. <laughs> Bullet just grazed my shoulder. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what would have happened without you. <laughs> so what? So what happened? Police <laughs> report. Well, the guy came in and he waved the gun at me. Okay, all right. And then there was this private detective that was in here at the same time. Okay, what happened? Well, he he got caught by the guy, so he came out. All right, and the guy with the gun told him, "Hey, put your hands up." And then the private detective put his hands up a little bit, and they put him down. And then and then the guy got mad. He said, "Do it." And he did it again. He put his hands up, and they put it back down again. And then, and then he did it a third time, and then the guy got mad and shot him, but he mostly missed, and then he left. He's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I think, I think there might be some nudity here. I can't remember properly, so here's your nudity warning. Wait, can we, can we just go back to sleep and that's the end? Who would put, like, oh, man. No kids ever come here. What the fuck is this shit? I would hit my shins off this so much. Wow, look at this bathroom. What the fuck? Wow, that's the biggest urinal I've ever seen. Holy shit. What? Oh, do we have to strip? Can, can we just take a shower like this? Do, why do we have to strip? Oh my god. I think you have to do the shower, don't you? Don't you have to do the shower? Oh, okay. All right. Banned. Let's go get a hot drink. Oh, no. The sandwiches we left on a plate. Someone might eat them. The duck soup. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. Okay, time to fail. The phone on the desk. Every QT. I could call for help. This whole scene is an excuse to show us that, but you, you have no idea how right that is. You will soon see <laughs> that you had no idea how right you were. Oh no! Oh darn! Oh oh no! Oh no! Oh, that didn't work that well. If only we hit the button. Oh, there she goes. All right. Oh no! Darn! Oh no! Oh oh oh! Oh, we still got away. All right, cool. All right, cool. Oh oh! No, this isn't going well. Oh. Oh, it was just a dream. Okay. Completely pointless. The whole scene. And that's it. Now now we're done with her. Now we just... <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. I'm the origami killer. I black out, <laughs> and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. He opens it and he looks down and he's automatically turned into origami. Oh my god, I just can't stop doing origami. Oh no. 
Keep all your paper away from me. Oh, someone stole. Oh no, the ball's here. All right, here we go. Oh, we can't use it. Oh, it's serious. Oh, when he said he'd give ep he'd give anything to know where Sean is, he meant his NBA uh, aspirations. Damn. Again, with all the people. It's like they had the crowd setting and multiplied it. Like they're even walking into each other. Maybe I could come back later. Oh shit! When there's less of a crowd. Oh shit! The tickets are origami I mean, now. I can't. Oh my god! It. Too many. People. Oh no! Okay, it's actually kind of hard to do that, like fast enough with your thumb. There we go. Gammy. Oh, I folded him. I'm folding everyone. Dad. Dad. Dad, where are you? Where all though? Jace. <laughs> Jason! Jason, come back! You gotta be kidding. Jason! Jason, it's Jason. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Jason! Jason, Dad's here, son! Oh man, he's folding them all. He's like King Midas, but with origami. Everything he touches turns to origami. Oh no! Jason! <laughs> I have no memory of this scene whatsoever. None. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason, Jason is dead. Made it. I made it. I managed <laughs> to get through the goddamn crowd. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. They don't go together at all. Like just the lockers. Zero effort. Now I've got to find the right one. Zero effort to match them totally. Just nothing. Line eight. Box them. No, go back. Go back. Go, okay, okay, like now turn just turn left. Why can't you just turn left? Why can't you just turn? What the fuck? Okay, I'm pressing left. Why can't you just be normal? Help Dad Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold <laughs> Dad Dad <laughs> All right, that was that was great take, but let's do another one. All right, just to make sure. All right, let's do another take of that, Sean. The camera loves you. All right, okay, cool. All right, now a fun one. All right, what if it stops raining? <laughs> you know what my my murder weapon is? The weather, the most reliable. There's a serial killer, and they sent an FBI agent to where we of live. Kids? So he has a safe. I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? Got him. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. <laughs> Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Click. <laughs> One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what do you caught, huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Blake. <laughs> Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. 
No answer. We waste our time coming here. What? Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. Yeah, I'm on There's team. There's nobody home. I'm on team Blake. <clears throat> oh man. There is now. Damn. Oh, this is looking pretty fucking sus. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Well, the guy's taking a break from uh, reality. What? Hold up here in this crazy apartment. Woo! What? I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Norman. I'd like to ask you a few questions. We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. It's better just stand down and leave Blake to it. I've got to do something. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Maybe Blake knows what he's doing after I can't all. Talk about it. You I guess Blake's trying to break him, but what good is a confession if he does? He you to go and find new prey, What's Blake he? looking for? He needs Why is he more pushing him over the more. edge? Blake, what are you doing? No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. The guy is terrified of Blake. So you obeyed them. Carter, make them shit. stop. You, you took out that of your boy mind. You, you drowned him. Isn't that right? This doesn't give a shit. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Do -do 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 -do. Doesn't seem to be anyone. What is this pose? Jeez. Parents today. Going out and leaving a poor little kid like that. Hmm. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th those are very realistic, accurate thoughts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, cool. Looking good, Shelby. Why isn't the baby trying to scratch his face? What's this? Where's the flailing and kicking right into your face? What? What? What the... Let's just get this bottle of ready-made formula that's just... Sitting out and isn't in the fridge and like I guess I better warm this thing up. No, you need to replace it. It might have been sitting out forever No, what? All right, make sure it's not too hot. You have to put some on your forearm, bro You can't just like feel it through the glass and be like, yeah, that's fine bro Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how long that takes. Yeah, okay More like that should be the next 30 minutes. What? So in Fahrenheit, it was called Fahrenheit because, you know, it gets cold. And in here, it's called Heavy Rain because the rain falls down and kills someone. So I'm guessing in Beyond Two Souls, you get a third soul at some point. And then in Detroit Become Human, someone becomes human. Like, I titled my shit on the nose, too. But mine was, like, like just, you know, pulpy genre fiction, not, you know, art house video game. You want to see some ID? It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the Whoa, far end of the, the garage. A car? There? Why am I being sent to look for a car? You want them, they'll be right over there. Now, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Oh, did did we break him? <laughs> you have reached your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. Scared. I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm I'm not gonna make it. Sure. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. A lot of good it'll do Sean if I kill myself on this highway. Like this would just just you just die immediately, right? Fuck I've it, we're got doing to it. Do it. We're doing For it. For Sean's sake. For Sean's sake. I sucking. have no choice. Here we go. Come on. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, this is going bad. Oh, no. I can do this. Come on. 
Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, good job, Ethan. All right, good. All right, cool. All right. Oh no! Oh, correct it, correct it. No, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. All right, you did it. All right, good, good job, Ethan. Good job. Right, I did that one. I helped. I helped. I did one. All right. Oh no! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, you're fine. Okay, good. You have not reached your destination. What if we had went to the garage like really late at night and there was no one on the highway? I'll help him first and ask questions later. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Look, it's none of my business. I'll just leave him there and tell the receptionist. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why? He's really out of it. What the hell happened to him? Do, 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 do. God damn it, why? <laughs> oh, no one walks like this. What, what the fuck is this walk? What the fuck is it? <laughs> I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah, that's what we should do. All right, what else is here? Oh, we can only do it one at a time. Oh, fantastic. Paraphenol anti fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. All right, let's give that to him, too. Here you go. Here, take this. But I'm, uh, not running a fever. Oh. Okay, I'll <laughs> see if I can find anything else. <laughs> How do you know? No, you are. All right, what's the other one? Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Yeah, you should take this for sure. Here you go. What is this hotel medicine cabinet? I'm no doctor, but I don't think there's any risk of infection with a broken rib. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? <sighs> Sorry. I'll try to be more careful. Listen. Thanks for your help, but I think I can take it from here. Right. I better go. By the way, I'm Ethan. Madison. They're gonna fuck it, aren't they? Of course they are! What do you- what- what game do you think you're playing right now? Of course they are! Was that the first time? It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. If you hadn't acted like that with a guy, it wouldn't have happened. So back off! Click. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait! I remember this! All right, here we go. This is Here's gonna be fun. All right, time to put the controller down. Here we go. Controller's on the Shit, floor. Don't you stand there. He's gonna get away. Stop that guy. <laughs> hey, man, watch it, dude. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with I don't know how it keeps going when you put it in. Miss the chicken. Should we should we uh should we load it again and, and succeed in one of them to keep going? Alright, so we need to do like what one or two or or what? One every so often?
Oh shit, did we miss him again? Shit, oh what? no! No! What? Oh god damn it, man! Alright, third time's a charm. That was failing? Oh no! Oh, we're going down! Oh no! Are we dead? No, oh, Blake, help us! Blake, what are you doing? Thank you, Blake. Why doesn't Shelby get a shower scene? Let's go. What is this fridge? Nuggets. Nuggets in the fridge? Alright. Time to drink some teriyaki sauce. Just down the hatch. That's the kind of man I am. With my sandwich just on the grill. It's not even on a plate. It's just like, it's just in there. Alright. Oh, uh, nothing particular. Except. The address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the help, Lord. I'll let me know if it leads to. Hey, man, you think you could help me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! Well, you're wearing a big trench coat and it's got blood on it and you have a gunshot, so like, maybe a little bit? Like, just a little. It's Electric Puzzle's arm. I remember getting stuck here for a little bit when I first played. My god. Oh no, I let go. Alright, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah, oh shit, no, I didn't make it. Time to just like slowly go back to safety. Yeah, who is this for? Who thought this was good? Wait, is that origami on the- uh, that's origami on the door. How? How? How- how is there a door that you can only open from the outside? How? What? What- what is this, this door closed by itself warehouse? Like what? I should never have got into this pipe. It's suicide. Where's this pipe go? I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ethan. Glass. Broken glass. Again. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it. <laughs> Impossible. Slowly so I don't tear up my arms. Ethan, you're wearing a leather coat. Just bunch it up and... And just like swipe it into the corner so there's less of it. What are we really are we really just gonna like fucking like like walkie talkie over this shit? Really? Uh, uh, uh hold on, let me turn around. Wait, hold on. Oh no. Oh damn it. Alright, hold on, hold on. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong way. That impossible. No. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh man. How are you not moving the glass? Can't see a thing in here. Where are those matches? What do you mean, where are those matches? Go right. Go, just turn. Yeah, go. Wait, no, no. Just go. Why won't you turn? Why can't you go right? Why can't you just be normal? All right, here we go. All right. All right, this is it. Looks like I'm not the first to come this way. And this guy never found the way out. What? 
The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Okay, take off his shoe and use his shoe to move the glass. Damn, I can't believe they found someone just as dumb as you, Ethan. Ethan. All right, here we go. Let's just keep going. Keep go No, no, no! Why are you turning? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you died from too much glass. That's the end of my story. Wait, what? <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> so he he crawled I all. I couldn't. I wasn't able to. He crawled all, all the way back through all the glass he just went through, and then and then went through the impossible door, and <laughs> instead of just forward a little bit more. <laughs> All right, should we should we load that and do it properly? Because I feel like that that section is important to see. Don't even know where it leads. Could lead to hell for all I know. <laughs> he, someone had to think that, then write it, then edit it, then then put it in the script, then have the voice actor read it, then the voice actor had to not question it, then it had to go through testing, like that that wow. Stupid fucking pipe. <laughs> Okay, I think what made me angry was that you can't really see where to go. Like, I wish I could see from his eyes, like first person. Maybe you can. Maybe if I hit a camera button. Alright, I don't think these are on, Ethan. What if I let go right now? Oh man, I'm holding all the buttons. I really didn't let go! So we go back there. Alright, this is... We can go through there. Isn't that where we started? Alright, so one of these two. I guess we're going through this one. I don't think we can go through that one. There's no way. What? All right, I guess we're going through here now. We went the wrong way. Okay, we have some life back. Let's just try going through this one. Do it. Wait, what are you trying to do? Wait, excuse me? Just jump through, forehead. Oh, okay, you do. All right, nice. Good job, Ethan. A bit showy off you there at the end, huh? I guess he's just like, fuck it. Let's, let's just end with a flourish. A few more hours and he won't be able to breathe. Why didn't we go through that way? Why weren't we like, yeah, there must be a different way in here instead of going through the electrical fucking limbo tunnel. Man, could you imagine if Madison's whole story was that she just, you know, randomly came here and just stumbled upon Ethan? and then just was like, you know what, this is my life now. Could you imagine if that was her whole story? Wow, that would be crazy, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, girl. <laughs> there must be something I can do to help him. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this time for sure! <laughs> We're killing him! Man, how sexy is this? This is really setting up the love interest for later, don't you think? Like, wow. Those are serious burns. Yes, let's touch them. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything for you. <laughs> I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Stop touching his chest! It's gonna burn! Okay, ointment. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. I didn't know that's what I was gonna do. I thought you were gonna like, do something else. <laughs> it went away. Sorry, I'll take it easy. Sorry, I'll go easier. Is that it? That's enough? Jeez, I'm not sure I'm helping him. I better stop. <laughs> At least give him the pills. And that's how my story ends.
The random girl I met at the motel killed me. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. Crap. I've really no idea what I'm doing. Whoa. I'll end up killing him. Whoa. Whoa. All right. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. <laughs> there was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection. He's not even looking the at next her. Next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Whoa! Damn, you seen the Find front, front page of Reddit today? What's up with you, Norm? How are you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. They're so close. <laughs> I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. <laughs> I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. <gasps> My god! He's been doing origami! Well, now they have to explain it, because, you know, it's a lead. Like, like, damn. It can't be that he just, you know, coincidentally just likes to do origami. God, the last moment in at this trial is hilariously bad. Oh my god, the last moment, it's just, it's just incredible. The last thing that happens in here. Oh man, alright. You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. Oh, what's that? Is that an axe? All right. Oh man, that looks. I know what we're what we're using. I know what we're using. All right, there we go. Oh man, we can use those too. Oh, let's use scissors. All right, yeah. All right. So you what is? What is the worst option here? Let's left. see. All right. So, let's find out. I think we we can put something in our mouth. What's this? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's disinfectant. Oh, we should, really shouldn't have used that. All right, scissors. All right, here we go. I mean, his finger's still there. It didn't work. <laughs> Can you imagine? He just, he just leaves. <laughs> So the the whole time he's searching this whole place to find what he needs, and it would just under the table the whole time. Like he pulled this place apart, fucking getting everything. All he had to do was look under the table. So how was this verified? Was the, was was the origami killer just like waiting the whole time? Because like he didn't know what order he was gonna do the trials in, and it wasn't like there was a set time he had to come here either. So, like, how was it verified that he actually did cut off his finger? Did he have a Google alert? Like, David Cage claimed this was based on true events because he accidentally cut his finger once. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> how did you call her? Did you call the hotel and say there's this What's he up to There's this there? girl in the room next to mine maybe Wait for or... go on my word. We've got the cops on our ass. No way out. Is her butt still swaying? Out of here. Oh sh. <laughs> Don't move or I'll blow your I thought it was down. done. Well, he just got arrested. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken 28 stab wounds drowned in the goddamn rain <laughs> that's angry god damn it ethan where is sean <laughs> you want to play games asshole come on We're... let's play a little game you're out of your mind blake this is gonna cost you your badge 
You better get the hell out of here, Norman. Before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains. Where's Ethan? Oh, he fell. Oh, okay. Alright, well, that was a scene. <laughs> Damn, why did I think I could play piano? What is this transition? I don't- I have no memory of this. Your vodkas. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Is this a VR place? Not you. Is this an AI? He may be guilty. He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. <laughs> this is amazing. Just so- <laughs> Hey babe, got some groceries. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. But when I did the last trial, I had to cut off my finger to prove that I that I was that I could get the clue and someone was watching me and I cut off my finger and then it said, "Okay, you did it. Here here's the clue." So I know it can't be me anymore cuz someone else was on the other side watching me. It was a great relief to know that. And now I understand. The only thing I remember afterwards. Oh wait, no, I still think it's me. I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. <laughs> How did he, he wants see to know you if I love my son enough to save him? <laughs> that means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. <laughs> but the only way to find him is to go through these trials. <laughs> Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about a week? About ten years, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Not really. Let's take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? <laughs> gotta get the hell out of here what do you mean we have nothing to do with his death we were just here when it happened look we're running out of time to find sean mars the last thing we need is 24 hours in a all right here we go ethan zero hesitation i didn't come all this way just to stop now exactly. i've got to go through with it for sean yeah exactly don't look him in the eyes just shoot no look him in the eyes he opens up i shoot i get the hell out of there and i don't look back that's what we do come on think of sean Think of Sean. He, Sean would want you to kill him. <laughs> Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. Me too. He's my girl, see? This one, Sarah. <laughs> he just... And a little one. He just made the That's photo him. appear. How did he just... Please, man. He just... I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. I'm a father too. But I have no choice. <laughs> Alright, here you go, me. Here's the picture. In the gun grip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
why don't you just... Why don't you just text back the, the pieces? Are these meant to be like the updated videos? Like how how are they getting there? Or like is it just the same video? Like are right, you can definitely figure it out from that. That's enough. Come on. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. Okay, well now he's definitely not going to tell you. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Yeah, again, I just really don't think that's how cars work. Sorry, I need tires that, that match the brand of my car. You know what? I don't hey. care. You got me, officer. Wait, how did- I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Wait, did, did he just know that our glasses and glove could see magic evidence? <laughs> tut tut, no dice, <laughs> inspector asshole. <laughs> Don't even think about it. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh no. Shit, not now. You, Turn you around. Just, you just let me do this? <sighs> what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? What? Throw him the cuffs and make him put it on. What are you doing? Uh, Help. Help. John. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not like but if, it, the book. if it rose any higher, like wouldn't it just like run away? Like, like he's not. It's not like he's like below something. So I I could I could maybe buy her her like finding the guy and helping him out because he's hurt or whatever. But then, after being dismissed, he might be the origami killer. To then put yourself in danger to go find some drug dealer hitting up your contact and calling in a favor. Then going in, fucking like stealing something, and then going to this club all dressed up and everything, sleuthing some more. Like, what the fuck? Actually, I might do anything for a little bit of information. Pretty scary when you think about it. <laughs> for this random person you met okay. in the hotel. What you do? Don't fuck around, man. No, 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 wait. I, I can still help you out. No, no, don't keep me. Oh man, I hope he's okay. Is there another way out of there? Is he hiding behind there? Yeah, there's no other way out of here, right? Yeah. Okay. Killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. Saving Sean is all that matters now. <laughs> I thought maybe it wouldn't happen because of the mistakes we made, but apparently, no, it's still happening. Here we go. Yeah, fuck yeah, we're kissing. Here we go. <laughs> Crawled through glass, got electrocuted, cut off my own finger and poorly cauterized it. Then she did a shitty job helping me. Then I went and killed somebody. 
time, my, my son is dying and it's time sensitive and the rain's coming down and I need to do the last clue. She just told me that, that I'm not the origami killer. Who the fuck even is she? Time to have sex. Here we go. Yep, here we go. On painkillers regularly just to get through the day. This is so stupid. This is, this is the, uh, remember I said there, there were two, maybe three unforgivable things that this game does? This is, this is the, the maybe. Maybe number three. Have either of them had sex before? What, what is this? I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. <laughs> the game acknowledges it. The game. <laughs> Only one more origami figure. Then I find my son. Just the worst dad. What the Things might have worked out between us. Oh no, I'm just a story to you. What the fuck is this? How about we go and find, save our son? Nothing else matters. I thought I meant something to you. <laughs> Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! This matters. This is the time. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. <laughs> Fuck it, forgive. After all we've been through together. In the past day. Remember that time I rubbed oint ointment on you? And then I didn't disinfect your arms properly? I'm gonna go find something to- Snake, do you think that love can bloom while a father is trying to find his abducted child and is injured and missing a finger and stressed to shit and also thinks that he might be the abductee and the killer? Snake. Alright, where's the helicopter? Every yeah, David Cage no, game must have yeah. a helicopter. Oh shit! There's the helicopter! <laughs> it's just the, the, the worst fucking police chase ever! We're, we went in a big circle! Holy fuck! <laughs> there was no plan! There was... I thought maybe he saw something in the bottom where Madison was waiting for it, but no! <laughs> There's no plan! He just... <laughs> I thought for a second there he might actually get in the back and tell the taxi driver where to go. I thought that might happen. Hey, drive me here! Oh, okay, don't know what's going on in that police raid over there and why this guy's running away, but okay, cool, where do you want to go? <laughs> what happened to the helicopter? Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna go settle a few scores. First thing she's- Come on, I'll take you home. Oh, lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Alright, I don't remember this at all. Alright, here we go. <laughs> remember when he had asthma? Where are you? you are oh, okay. Oh, damn. Missed. Damn, another shot in the shoulder. God damn it. Oh, damn it. Now we got Call shot in the ass. ear. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, now in the arm. Oh, man. We got shot so many times today. Oh, man. oh no. Oh, I got you. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. Oh, shit, man. Oh, this is my favorite coat. Now I got shot in the stomach. Oh no! Oh, now I got shot again! Alright, alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Alright, I'm running, I'm Two. 
<laughs> he had to drop on us for sure. What are they doing? Shoot him. Your idiot son killed all the... <laughs> I can't let him die, even though he deserves it. I'm no better than him if I let him die. Fucking bastard. Let him die. <laughs> Wait, it's kind of cool that you have to do origami here at the end. What the fuck? I love this game now. What? I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Hey, what? Hey. Come closer. All right, so this is where the bullshit happens and they reveal that, that that Ethan Mars is actually the origami killer after all. And somehow he he, he was looking at himself through all the, the tech while he was cutting off his finger and sending the pictures and shit. And they just never explain how they did that at all. So here we go. Thought I'd just like brace you guys for impact on this bullshit. There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous. Is it? I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Am I willing to die to save my son? One hour to live. Just enough oh time to save Oh my god, all Sean. these thoughts. Just fucking drink it. Jeez. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Carter Blake. No way. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Whoa, that would actually make sense. All right, chat. You ready to find out who's the origami killer? Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! I forgot that happens. Fucked up. Dad, Dad, it's John! He, he found your pod! Oh, He's coming! Oh, get out of here, you get a little fast. Leave me alone. You gotta come, Dad! Come on, John's gonna die! John's gonna well, die! Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Please, Dad, you Well, this is fucked up, man. Like... This is really fucked up. Like, all this dad wants to do is have a drink in peace, and this kid just won't stop talking to him. Like, to save John. God damn. Don't, don't forget about Blue Scotty. Oh. 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 Scotty? Wait. Scotty ends with an E. Ethan? It's Ethan? Scott Shelby is the origami killer, and the reason why he does this is because his dad wouldn't save his kid, so he kidnaps children so to test other dads to see if he can find a dad that will actually save their kid because his dad was too drunk to save his kid one day. That's why... At least I'm 95% sure that's why I'm a little hazy on it. I kind of checked out at this point. <laughs> Let's see if I remembered it right. <laughs> so why does he lie in his head about finding the killer? Okay, so I have been... This is the second time I've ever played the game. And I have been very, very closely paying attention to all of his thoughts. And in all of his thoughts, I have not caught a direct lie. He has never directly lied about anything that I caught. Maybe there was one at some point that he actually did directly lie. However, almost all of his thoughts make absolutely no sense whatsoever. No sense. Like, like 
it's it's not like directly lying, but his thoughts are just bullshit bananas that like like there's no way he would think that. You know what I mean? Like like he, he oh here's here's the grave of my dead brother who I'm now crying over and I'm gonna call him kid. You know what I mean? Like like that sort of shit. Like if you go back, almost all of his thoughts make no fucking sense whatsoever. No, that's not it. Okay, isn't that a different model? Like, he's much bigger than that, isn't he? That's why I said, who's that in the coat? Like, did did he suck in his stomach the whole time? Like, where's where's his stomach? Like, <laughs> it's a... what what? Why do this? Why bring Lauren? Why? Why? We just, we just it makes no sense. Like, why does Ethan black out and make origami? Like, why does he? <laughs> Max. Got it, Max. <laughs> The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. <laughs> what the hell is that? So you found my little secret. Oh no, now it's he sounds Scott. psychopathic. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. <laughs> sounds crazy though. There's one child left. <laughs> Secrets there out. There might still be time to save him. <laughs> Right, just run through. Yeah. Why are we stopped in the middle of the fire? Just fucking go. What are you doing, Madison? Just fucking go. Yeah. This this is fine. Yeah. This is fine. Can I go out this window? Like, excuse my ignorance, yeah. but shouldn't she just like just run to the door? Oh my god, does she do what I think she does? What kind of door needs a key to unlock it from the from the inside? Does she do- does she really do what I think she does? Does she go in the fridge? <laughs> Don't ask questions it's Kojima. <laughs> cool. All right, now she's down here. Cool. All right. Sean. 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 Full circle. Sean. 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 Sean, 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 Sean. I've been looking for a long, long time. Sean. I remembered you. Sean. All those murders. <laughs> Just to find a father Completely capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Sean! Oh, it's Norman. Sean! Can you talk to your kid, Ethan? Say, hey, it's me. Let's ha- are you okay? Oh, oh no. No, Sean. Oh, no. Oh, no. This time for sure. Oh no! Oh no! No, Sean, no! No, it's okay. It's okay. Sean! What are they doing? They're just watching! <laughs> ah, Nomin's got it. He's got it. Look, he's got everything individually. 
literally eat the shit. <laughs> Sean, listen. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I... I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago and... And I'm not dead. Yeah, maybe it's like a couple seconds off. Like... Like, you know, like maybe give it a minute. Like, maybe there's like a 10% variance or something. Like... You, you, it's it like it literally just hit zero and you're like oh well that's what they told me it's like c come on now this is cyberpunk <laughs> holy crap what's, wait what's that what the do? successful one listen i'm sorry i didn't trust you. we're doing this now oh dad <laughs> when i guess you've been wanting me to introduce introduce her a while huh <laughs> When did you guys meet? <laughs> oh, yesterday. <coughs> He's not going to be in heavier rain. I tell you though, Madison. Hey, Dad. I was so cruel about not helping you with the groceries. I think I found my room. And save the life of young. Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. What? Good evening. Woo! No, no, he did nothing. Also killed a man. Oh, it's like the ticks. Take your drugs. It's not going well. What? Oh, I have superpowers now. Wait, is that what? All right, so that was heavy rain. I don't know if there's a postcard sequence. So, um, uh, do most of you agree that, uh, like, in some ways, a huge improvement for Indigo Prophecy, but in other ways, like, it's actually worse. So yeah, kind of a train wreck of a game. Again, still a very good concept. Like, it's interesting to me. You never find out why he makes origami. Why he blacks out and makes origami. Now, I've seen on Discord uh, a while ago that apparently there was this, like, uh, cut plot line that uh, there was supposed to be some sort of link, some supernatural link between Ethan and Shelby, I guess, or, or something else. And they just only took part of it out or something. Like, I don't know. So the three things that I consider to be unforgivable in terms of, uh, in terms of writing... Uh, there's two that for sure that I think are unforgivable that are just like like huge marks against David Cage forever. Two for sure, and then one that's I'm less sure about, but I still really, really heavily dislike. The first one is that it's never explained why Ethan is doing is is blacking out and making origami. I can understand the blacking out. I can even understand him him linking that in some way to the serial killers targeting children. Like I can see that happening. But blacking out and making origami and never explaining how he's doing origami while being blacked out and this being set up as like a huge, huge thing that even he thinks that he might be the origami killer. That him never like looking at it logically and being like well if i am the origami killer how is it that i'm able to confirm that i'm doing these things through through my phone and everything when i, I do these tasks that sort of thing like it makes no sense whatsoever that's the first thing uh the second thing is uh shelby being the origami killer the, the that's the second thing is that um all of, like i don't think his thoughts directly lie to you we were speaking about this earlier but the fact that his thoughts pretty much make no fucking sense whatsoever like they're complete bullshit like he wouldn't think those things in those ways uh and those are like his his like his inner monologue, you know what I mean? Like, he wouldn't lie to himself like that. So, uh, that, that's the other thing that I consider to be completely unforgivable. Uh, the third one that is, you know, not as bad as the other two is the sex scene between Madison and Ethan. It's, uh, you can turn it down, like, you can say no. So, like, like, you have to be complicit in it. But the fact that it's even an option is just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, just like, 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 the fact that he would, like, have sex with her after everything that he's, have, after everything he's done you know, recently, losing a finger, all the injuries, his son dying, how he's on a time limit, how he won't even consider doing anything else because he's so, he's so like, I have to do, I have to do it. But no, let's have a sex scene and, and go to sleep for a while. It's just like, it's, 
as close to a plot hole as you can be without actually being a plot hole. Like, just completely fucking ridiculous. And then, that's not even getting to the, to the other side of it, which is, why would she want to fuck him? Like, like, that's just on his side. Like, what about her agency? Like, she just shows up and is like, oh, what, what? Like, they kind of sell it a little bit because she, you know, she finds a story out of him. Like, whatever. But I don't think she knew she was at, he was at that hotel. So I don't think she had any idea about that at the time. And then it's just like, yeah, cool. Let's just devote my whole entire life to this guy that I just met and fall in love with him in five seconds. That was Heavy Rain. So we're two cage games down, two to go, maybe three, depending on how Omnicron does. Really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all gonna be over. Um. And you can just go back to being a kid. What? Oh. Oh my God. so far i can't believe that just was, i don't know what the 